Hey, this is JennaGeary.com, and we are here with our dumbbell home workout routine. So, what am I going to do right now? I'm going to go ahead and give you a little flash. Just a little one. Just a little bit. There's my heart rate monitor, and I already started it. I'm at a whopping zero calories right now. Whoa. Let me put it on my heart rate page. Okay. So, dumbbell home workout routine. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do two circuits today. So, the first circuit is going to be all on one side and with two different exercises, and then all on the other side, and then you go through that as many times as you possibly can, and the next one is going to be three. You guys know, if you're following my videos, I have a cheat sheet. I'm allowed to, you should be writing this stuff down too, after you watch it, or before you watch it, and then practice, I don't, well wait, that, that's impossible, but whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so the first one that we're doing is, it's called a dumbbell snatch. So you're gonna go ahead and take a heavier size dumbbell, this is all core. You guys know, powerhouse here. So you gotta be strong in your core and breathe through your diaphragm like you're bracing for somebody to punch you. Squeeze your cheeks. You're gonna take your heavier dumbbell than usual and you're gonna use the power from your hips and from your core to get the kettlebell, the dumbbell, all the way up. So right here, okay? Boom, power came from the hips. So each time you go up. Now we're gonna add in a burpee, okay? I want you to do your best to try and add in a single arm burpee for the first time you could do it on double arm. But if you've got it, do it. What I mean by that is you're gonna put the hand down here, okay? Put the hand down here, open up your chest so your all the weight is on here, that's how you do it. If it helps, you can put your hand back here. But don't be afraid, it's all, a lot of things are all fear. Pop it out. Pop it in, pick it up again, power into the next one. Boom, here. So we get dynamic and power, okay? So front view, boom, here, pop it out, in. Power up, here, pop it out, in. Now if you need to, again, you can put one hand down. So you go here, boom, boom, okay? Go for as many as you possibly can. If you have a heavy enough weight, you might only be able to get 20 in a row. 15 in a row. No less than 15. No, I would say no less than 20. If you don't have access to a really heavy weight, then go ahead and do 30. Like, you can do it. Even if you got to rest for a second, then go ahead and pick it up and do it again. Okay? Soon as you're done with that, you're not going to go to the other side. We're going to do something on that same side. So you're going to go face down. Core is your powerhouse. Abs are nice and tight. I have my dumbbells here for the next rotation. And on this same arm, you're gonna give me a single arm row. So you're on your hand here, your feet are open for balance, and you're gonna pull into a row, okay? Just go back and forth. Now, if you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can go ahead into a high row. So with the palm facing this way, so your hand is horizontal, and pull up here, okay? If you don't have a heavy enough weight, do it this way, as opposed to doing it here. It might be too light for here. You might be able to do here. Switch it, go back and forth. Do 15 up here and then another 15 down there. We're committing to 30 or 20 if you do have access to really heavy weight that you can do rows with. Then you're gonna go ahead and stand up and do your snatch on one side, boom. You're gonna go through that two, three times. Whatever's gonna take you 20 to 30 minutes, okay? Because this is your dumbbell home workout routine. So this is your wor workout for the day, okay? So you want it to take you at least 45 minutes. Now you're done with that. You've gone through one side, other side, one side, other side, one side, other side. You've done three sets of it. Now we're gonna move on to the next thing. So basically you're gonna go down, there's no dumbbell for this exercise, and you're gonna do a push-up because I love push-ups. And you're gonna go from side to side. So you're gonna start with your feet and your hands together, abs are tight, you're gonna step out and then come together, step out and then come together. Go back and forth, okay? So let's just say I just went back and forth at least 15 times on each side, so you're doing a total of 30 push-ups, or 20 on each side, so you're doing 40. No less. You can do it. Even if it's just a little mini push-up, or get all the way down. As soon as you're done with that, you're gonna sit, and we're gonna add in some abs, okay? So you're gonna sit in a V-sit position. You're gonna get two lighter dumbbells. V-sit means you're sitting like this. It's an ab position, okay? So you're here. You can hold the hands here, 
or here, okay? So you're either facing forward or you're like this. And you're gonna do shoulder press. Now, let's just say I'm holding them out here and I'm pressing up, okay? If you wanna get more dynamic and more core, you can go ahead and balance. Now, pick a focal point. So right now, I'm staring at something in front of me. A pair of sneakers. <clears throat> Abs are nice and tight. <clears throat> and I'm doing shoulder press. Now, don't stop shoulder pressing. If your abs get tired, put your feet down for a second and then go ahead and pick them up again, okay? Do that at least 20 to 30 times, depending on how, how, how heavy your dumbbell is, okay? Now we're gonna go right into laying down on the ground. You know me, I'm all about burnt, doing as much as we possibly can. So, I want us to do a bridge when we do this, but it's a tricep workout. So all the ladies, bye-bye, bye-bye arm. So I love to work the triceps. So, but I don't want to just work the triceps because I don't want you just laying down doing nothing. So you're going to lift up into a bridge position. Now, if you want to get really dynamic, you can stay here. You can switch back and forth, but we're going to do 20 to 30, okay? So tricep extension is going to go down and then extend back up. So if you notice, number one, I'm working my core. My abs are nice and tight. My back isn't working and my cheeks are holding on to a million dollar platinum credit card that I don't have to pay back. Now, if you notice, my elbow is facing toward the ceiling and from my shoulder to my elbow is not moving, just my forearm is moving. That's a tricep extension. So you wanna make sure you extend the arm out and flex the back of the arm, okay? Hyperextend the elbow. That's true tricep work. Tricep work, okay? Can't really see because I got tattoos, triceps. Okay, so as soon as you're done with that, you're gonna go right back to the push-ups, shoulder press, triceps. So the first rotation is like a lot of upper back and back, and then the next one is a lot of the front of the body and, and arms and us ladies' triceps. So I hope you liked it. That was a big one, okay? Go nuts, go right through all those exercises three times. Hope you liked it, look for more, um, leave your comments, and work hard. All right.